essentially what it does is it copies your face to an exact way and your moves. So if when you move, you can talk. Let's say right now, you know, I'm talking to you and my face will change to Holly. Hello, Factory family, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Factory Media Podcast. I'm Gerald, and as always, I'm joined by my amazing co-host, Holly. Thanks, Gerald, and thanks to the viewers who are here watching today. Today we have a topic, and it's trending for a couple of weeks now, and it's going to get worse. And the topic is social media platforms. We all use them. It's part of our lives. It's an integral part of our lives now. Like we use it to connect, share, and communicate with people all across the globe. But, however, there's an issue. If you use it the wrong way, you can get in a lot of trouble and you can have your information in the wrong hands. So, how do we stop that? And what tips do we have to give to our audience on how, how to fight that? I think that it's important uh, with putting your information out there. For example, we use our phones and our computers for banking, uh, for government, our taxes, putting oh, just right. information about us out into the universe. That information is there to stay. It, it doesn't go away. We don't know who's behind the computer on the other side. So I think it's just really important to watch where you're putting your passwords make sure that you're not saving them make sure that you're not giving them out to other people in chats or on your social media feeds and Absolutely. just being really vigilant as you said in everything that you do on social media because as much as it is a great platform to express yourself and to do your everyday needs yeah. it's it's also very easy to lose control of yeah. your personal matters. Absolutely. And by carefully reviewing and understanding the privacy settings on these platforms, there's a chance that you're going to reduce, you know, these risks. Definitely. Yeah. So check the privacy settings. Watch what you share and with whom. Because, you know, there's a bigger issue now, Holly. I, I I don't think everybody knows about what's going on in the world when, with this AI technology right now. And the technology is called deep fake. Yeah. So this deep fake, essentially what it does is it copies your face to an exact way and your moves. So if when you move, you can talk. Let's say right now, you know, I'm talking to you and my face will change to Holly. And then you will not be able to, to tell the difference between me and Holly. So essentially, then it's almost like a form of identity theft. So if someone can get your information, your personal information, like where you live, your date of birth, the basics to form your identity, then people can steal. Yeah. And, you know, with this deep fake is kind of the cherry on top of the cake that social media needed to have everything, everything about you. So they can copy your voice. They can copy your face. They have your information. They have your address. They know your children's name. They know your date of birth. What else do they need? You know, and we have the, the government trying to uh, regulate this, this technology, but they look like they always three and four, like three or five years behind mm -hmm. you know they're gonna have a lot of people out there replicating people's faces and voices and making videos imagine where this can take us holly yeah. this can take us to war if you replicate the u.s president declaring war to let's say china russia those places that we're always fighting with and they see that video over there and they might, oh, I, like, I don't think this is fake. Let's go. Let's go fight these guys. Right. So those are the risks right now with deep fake and with social media. If this technology gets in hand, like that's why people have to be careful what they share. 
And it's really easy now because there's phishing, right? So you might get an email from someone who you think it's your friend, it's your workplace, or it's something that you're waiting on and you click the link. These hackers actually are able to access your computer and all of your information from just one like click click. So you have to be very vigilant when you're opening emails or links. Definitely. Yeah, because it's so easy for them to access your information. So we're going to have a, a huge problem with misinformation in the future. The fake news are going to increase. Everything's going to change and people are going to have to start limiting the amount of data that they share on social media to be careful. To Even your, your photos, right? Because if people are replicating your, your photos, images or creating fake profiles of you, that could affect your future. That could affect future jobs, future anything. Yeah. So how are we going to understand what's real and what's not real? How are we going to tell who's a professional, who's not a professional? There's going to be a huge problem with, you know, integrity in the world. And with trust. This, yeah. Yeah. Know. Who's going to trust who said what in the media and the news? I mean, we already don't with fake news, right? So what what do we really believe that's put out there and what do we not believe? At least you know who says what right now. So, so let's say CNN goes, you know, whoever, uh, uh, Cooper, Anderson Cooper goes on CNN and he says something. We know he said it, even if it's fake, what he said, but we know he's the one that holds you know, responsibility for his, his words. Mm -hmm. But with this technology advancing, we're going to have a, a, a Anderson Cooper saying things on the news that... It's not the real Anderson Cooper. It's not him saying it. <laughs> well, the real Anderson Cooper, please stand and up. And there's <laughs> millions of people that follow CNN, Fox News, you know, whoever you are, Tucker mm -hmm. Carlson, you will not be able to tell who's who with the fake the deep fake uh, technology advancing and they already did the voice long time ago yeah. they can you know replicate your voice and now they can do that so for social media my ad my advice is don't be sharing things on social media don't be sharing your 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 pictures on social media anymore it's going to be a very difficult task to do uh, especially you know when you're like if you're a star or famous, whatever. Or you, just, you just like to share your life, right? A lot of people yeah. have family across the world and their way of showing their life is through social media. So it might be hard for some people to hold back on doing that. It will be hard, but we have to adapt. So us, human beings, we have a great form of, of, ad of adapting, sorry. And Holly, we're going to have to adapt because we're not going to be able to to move on with AI unless it gets regulated yeah, and everybody marks, oh, this is a fake something. And if somebody creates a video using deep fake and doesn't mark it, then, you know, that person gets in legal trouble. Right. So there's legal. repercussions for yeah. their actions. And until that happens, we're kind of just left in the dark, not really knowing what. How about the social media that has that have children using it. Let's say TikTok. Yeah. What do you think of TikTok hogs? I mean, I was skeptical of it in the beginning, but I found that now I'm almost addicted to it. So I will scroll on it for hours. And I've noticed recently, there's been a lot of AI. So there's this new feature that you can create your own family. So you can put you and your partner's image together and it'll show you what your family or your kids will look like. And it's just, it's becoming so out of this world that it's, I don't know, it's getting a little bit scary. So as social media continues to evolve, as well as AI and deep fake, we will continue to talk about these topics in the upcoming weeks. If you have any ideas yep. or anything that you'd like to see us discuss, please leave it in the comments below. Yeah. So don't forget to subscribe 
share the video. If you like the content, please give us a thumbs up. And um, yeah, we're going to have more content like this coming up. Definitely. And stay tuned.